back at it again and we've got a video here from sav says do me a huge favor make sure you guys after you watch this video go to sav says youtube channel the link is down below and go subscribe she does some great work over there show the sisters some love all right but as we have seen the left has been pandering like crazy making promises left and right and center i mean it, 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 it's just all over the place oh oh you get a check i mean they're, they're they're like on their oprah winfrey uh, uh uh tip you get a check and you get a check and you get this and i'll get this for you and this for you just just making promises all over the place meanwhile behind the scenes they're kind of tweaking the wording of certain things because they realize it's not actually possible they're playing some of the uneducated american folks and it is sad to watch because you know i remember being one of those folks who just believed oh man the government's not gonna fool us like that no no way not the not the dims come on i'm black they they rock with black people they they wouldn't lie to us like that come on man And yet, now that my eyes have been open to the BS, I just can't unsee it, you know, um, anything that comes out of their mouths. And one thing that I've, um, and I think I tweeted this out, one thing that I've learned throughout this journey is that when the establishment goes after something with everything that they have, that's usually something you should look into or a person that you should get behind. That's one thing that I've learned along this journey, and it's good to see some people are beginning to open their eyes to it as well. When the establishment attacks something, that's something that you should be following or someone that you should be following. But anyway, let's dive into this video from Sab Says. Make sure you guys hit that like button. If you are not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button as well and join the family. All right, it's totally free. All right, no cost to you. If you would like to follow me on social media as well, those links are down below in the description box, my Instagram, my Twitter. Also, you can um, send me any video suggestions you may have. Uh, you can send those via Instagram or Twitter or another option. You know, obviously you have the comment section where you can, you know, comment suggestions, but uh, the Discord server, it's a glorified chat room. There's even a tab on the Discord server or in the Discord server where um, that's specifically for request videos. So it's free to join the Discord server. Hope to see you over there uh, having a wonderful conversation with everyone. But anyway, with all that being said, let's dive in. Biden is planning on uh, canceling up to $10,000 in student loan debt. Yeah, student loan debt. I don't see how it's bad, actually. I think it's a pretty good thing. I feel like it's a step in the right direction. Biden is planning on uh, canceling up to $10,000 in Oh, let me let me fix my uh <laughs> there we go that's much better student loan debt yeah, student loan debt i don't see how it's bad actually i think it's a pretty good thing i feel like it's a step in the right direction but at the same time like most people have really high amounts of debt so ten thousand is a very minuscule hold on what's this guy doing in the background <laughs> yes <laughs> amount that sounds amazing that sounds freaking good that sounds yeah amazing. uh that's a great thing I, I mean, I'm in debt, so that would actually really help a lot. That'd be amazing, honestly. So, it's $10,000. Do you think that we should be forgiving more than that? Yes. How much? I think you should forgive all of it. All of it? I'm, I'm a communist. There's no such thing as too much. There's one thing I learned, is that, I, yeah, 10 that, Yes. How much? I think you should forgive all of it. All of it? I'm, I'm a communist. There's no such thing as... We have college students. Making that type of statement. And the old question, you know, that I always would love to ask folks. And this is, it, it, and you know, there's, there's continually this back and forth with me, you know, because when I watch these interviews, I'm like, man, I want to get out there and do something myself. But then, you know, it's like, man, I'd probably laugh in these folks face and I would not have very productive interviews because some of the ignorant statements that they make, I would just laugh them away. But I would love to ask this young lady, so why haven't you left? I'll pay for your plane ticket. Where would you like to go? It's so great in these other places. I mean, it's better 
better than America. I mean, the government, the, the, the system that you speak of is already set up. It's already in place. When would you like to, when would you like me to book your flight? Oh man. And also it's, it's terrible because it, it exposes how bad our education system is. We have a generation of folks that don't understand how the government and how money actually works. They think the government gives us money. Well, where do you think the government gets the money? Do you think we just have unlimited dollars? <laughs> Sheesh, I'm disgusted. Too much, there's one thing I learned is that, I, yeah, $10,000 $10, does a great deal for me. I could use more, I could use more, because I still don't want to be poor at the end of the day. I mean, the ultimate goal, I Well, go and work two jobs if you have to. Some folks, at one point, work three jobs. Get to work, suit up and lace your boots up. I feel should be canceling all the student debt. Um, I think they should be forgiving like all of it. Honestly, college should be free. I don't know the logistics of that, but whatever. <laughs> all of it. <laughs> all of it. Half um, of it. They should have a discount. Who's paying for for this student loan forgiveness? The government? I don't know. Like the taxpayers, I suppose. But like, <laughs> come on. Like we're wasting taxpayer dollars and all kinds of stuff. We are. She does have a bit of a point. She does. I, I will give her credit. She does have a bit of a point. We are wasting taxpayer dollars on a lot of crap, which is something that needs to be cleaned up. But then also, I do blame the colleges as well. With all of this fluff expenses, all of these fluff expenses, I want to say we checked out a video where it, it highlighted the increase in college expenses and it was like exponential. I mean, it, it was something, some crazy number from where it was to where it is now. And I think that is due in part to hiring some bogus positions. Now, there's some other stuff as well that, that are involved in that, but, you know, hiring a diversity president. What the F even is that? Why are you hiring this person? Why why do these students have to pay for this person's salary for, for, for what? That person needs to be fired. <laughs> like, I, I, I don't understand. And um, I don't know. Uh, how do you guys think we can fix the college cost issue? Obviously, the curriculum and the wokeness needs to be fixed as well. But considering that fixed, how do we fix the cost issue on college campuses? Let me know in the comment section. But like, <laughs> come on, like we're wasting taxpayer dollars and all kinds of stuff. We are. <laughs> I, I don't know. We are. You guys are? Yeah. Taxpayers? Yeah. Okay, so yeah, taxpayers. So the taxpayers are, so people are arguing, okay, it's not fair for taxpayers who decided not to go to college or decided to go to a trade school or paid off their own student loan debt to not have to pay other people's debts off. What are your thoughts on that? I think people should see that this is a good thing, and just because it's not good for you doesn't mean it's not good. Okay. I would love to ask her, well, um, would you be fine with taking an extra 15, 20% tax hike on your taxes to pay for starving kids in third world, third world countries? It's not good for you, but it's good for other folks. Would you be willing to allow the government to take an extra 20% out of your taxes, out, you know, out of your check? I mean, according to her logic, I mean, as long as it's good for other folks, I mean, it's fine. Hmm. Having a degree helps you contribute to society in a meaningful way. What if it's a degree that doesn't really have that much worth in modern society? Well, that's fair, but you also have to take it to the implication that the person who got that degree is probably not going to earn that much money. So I feel like from there, those are the consequences of picking that degree. Gotcha. So you still. And the consequences is also being stuck with paying that bill. Duh. I feel like in that situation, though, they should still be eligible and the taxpayers should still pay off and help pay off their student loan debt. I would say so. Well, the way we do taxes isn't just a large swath, like everyone's getting an increase. We base it based off tax bracket. So I think people who can afford it, who probably did go to higher education, 
can afford a kind of extra tax in order to forgive some loan debt. Yeah, I mean, I guess so. Taxpayers are, taxpayer dollars are for like the benefit of everyone and education benefits everyone. Do you guys think that it's fair for maybe, you know, the taxpayer who didn't have the opportunity to go to college now having their taxes raised to pay for other people's student loan debt? I don't think that would be fair. No, like in that point, it's just, it's not fair. So like... They didn't have an opportunity to have an education or they didn't end up going to college, so they shouldn't be paying for that. Does it Makes sense. But then also, these folks don't think, because the young lady before them, I think it was, uh, who was that? It was this young lady. She said higher income people can afford to be taxed more. So what happens when all of those higher income people because they are higher income, just move their money in a different way to legally get around taxes or just move to a different country for, I forgot the, the, the actual amount of time that you have to live in. I think, is it like six months that you have to live in another country out of the year? I think it's, I think it's six months. But anyway, because they have the resources, what happens when they move their money out of the country? So now, folks like this young lady and regular folks like us are being stuck with the bill. While well, all of the rich elitists, they have the resources to do some of these things that us regular folks can't do. <laughs> so what then? <laughs> these folks, man, they don't think she's Luis. I mean, mindless NPCs non-playable for those that don't know what an npc is it's a non-playable character it's those characters on video games that you know the 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 user you as the user can't control they're just like computer generated and just kind of have this program and they just do like one certain thing <laughs> npcs man that's what all these guys and gals are except well, yeah, I, I might argue i might argue um they aren't or this chick isn't because she had some common sense a little bit of common sense at least i should say but anyway ah oh, man our education system is absolutely garbage and you know these videos really expose that and it's sad to watch these folks are literally wasting their money they're not even being taught anything like literally at this point in time there's no point in going to college if I were a company owner that was looking to hire folks, I wouldn't even be looking for college educated people. I wouldn't. I would look for someone fresh out of high school that is hungry for a job and is willing to learn on the job. On the job training. Yeah, it might take some extra time. So what? I'd rather have that than these so-called educated folks who think they're educated when in reality, they're not. What do y'all think? Got any business owners out there? Let me know how y'all feel about that in the comment section. I mean, this is just absolutely crazy and also a crime to humanity. These colleges aren't really teaching these students anything, but they're collecting all of this money. That should be prosecuted. But we'll just save that. But we'll save that discussion for another day. Peace and love, family. Y'all stay safe out there. I'm out.